Hey there everybody, it's Nash here from Nash Tech and in this video I'll be doing a review of the Western Digital My Passport external hard drive and this is the 500 gigabyte model. So this does come in multiple other colors and there's actually a newer model out and multiple size capacities. I believe it goes up to two terabytes max on this portable external hard drive. Uh, like I said, there is a newer model, and the reason I picked up this older one was, one, because it was a whole lot cheaper than the newer one, but the newer one does look nicer, and it does support USB 3.0. This is USB 2 only. So let's take a look here at the actual physical design. First, you can see it's got a single connector. There's no power supply needed, and that's what's nice about external portable ones. Uh, and you got a three-quarters white trim around, and then the rest is silver. At nighttime, you can see there is a cool white glowing light. So now let's do a quick size comparison so you can see the size of this external hard drive. I'll compare it with the iPhone 5. You can see it's not as long as the iPhone, but it's a little thicker and maybe a little wider. So it's not very big. You can easily throw it in your pocket or maybe throw it in a bag and not have to worry about it taking up that much space. And that's what's great about portable external hard drives. There you can see again the size. So the main reason I got this, one, was because it's portable, and two, because I needed something that was cheap and lightweight to throw in a bag. I just throw this in my camera bag. As you can see, it's got some scruffs around the trim, and that's the main reason why I got this. I needed something I just didn't care about. I wasn't worried about breaking. And it's not advertised as a durable external hard drive, but in my tests, it's done quite well. And it's got nice rubber feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding around on a desk. So it comes with a few different things when you purchase this external hard drive. I'm not sure about the newer model, but the model I have came with a Western Digital branded protective case. And I actually don't use this because my camera bag has some padding on the inside. So it'd be kind of redundant. But if you wanna throw this in like a backpack with some school books and pens and stuff like that, you might wanna put it in the case. And it's nice, fits it perfectly. The inside of it has a nice mesh finish with a slot to put maybe some SD cards or the USB cable. So it does come with the standard 2.0 USB. It is not 3.0 like I said before. The newer model is a 3.0 compatible. You can see you just plug in one there, no power needed, and it's a kind of short cord, which I actually appreciate. Uh, it's nice and compact, real easy to throw in a bag. You don't have to worry about this cord getting all tangled up and stuff like that. So there, it comes with the standard USB cord, and it also comes with a desktop, maybe cradle or docking station, depending on how you wanna call it. Oh, let's flip that around. And it comes with this docking station, so if you want to make it look a little nicer on your desk, I personally do not use this. This cord, though, is a bit longer, so if you want it to wrap around maybe under your desk or something like that, you can easily do it. And uh, I just usually place it on top of another external hard drive like so. So it does come with two different cables, this one being the longer cable and the regular cable being shorter for more portability. And it also does come with some brochures and pamphlets on how to use this external hard drive, but I don't really need that stuff. One nice feature about this external hard drive is it is Mac and PC compatible. I've been using it on my Mac to put video files and then going over to someone else's house and putting Windows files on and it works perfectly with both. One thing that I do not like about this hard drive though is the software that is included. On the Mac, I have the option to basically just forget the software, not use it at all, and I wish that the software just wasn't there at all. It's it's a really bad and very, very poor experience. I would recommend not even installing it. Just try to skip it if you can. Just use the external hard drive. So there you guys go. That is my review of the Western Digital My Passport 500 gigabyte external hard drive. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, likes and favorites are always appreciated. Leave a comment below. What is a good portable external hard drive for you? And uh, I'll have the link in the description to this version on Amazon and to the newer version so you can see what the new one looks like. I hope you enjoyed and subscribe. There's a whole lot of more awesome content coming in the near future. So here you go, you can check out two of my most recent videos. I did a review of the Apple TV, that's the 1080p version, and I did an unboxing of the Sony soundbar. Go check them out. Bye, guys.